All right, guys, Hunter and I drove out to uh, Kenny's place out here in Kentucky today. Kenny's been out here for the last couple weeks uh, watching these birds. And as soon as we got out here today, there's turkeys in the field. And there's been turkeys pretty much in this field since we got here about two hours ago. Right now we're watching four toms for sure and multiple hens. I don't even remember how many hens now, but the hens have kind of started feeding their way back into the woods up here on the right. We've still got two toms, at least one for sure we can see out here in the field. We think two. Not 100% sure where the other two went, but it's looking pretty good, guys. Opening day is tomorrow, so we're getting pretty pumped. Hunter said he's not going to be able to sleep tonight. So That's the truth. <laughs> We hearing, shall see. Hearing gobbles in my sleep. Yeah, we're going to be dreaming of gobblers all night. But anyway, uh, it's looking good for in the morning. So kind of the game plan right now is to hopefully find out for sure where these birds go in the woods to know which side of the property these birds are actually going to be on in the morning. If we can't get up or can't get on birds gobbling first thing in the morning. The plan right now is to kind of set up back in this neck back here where these cedars kind of meet this point down here in the in the field. That's where Kenny's seen these birds pretty much every day, at least for the last little while. So we're gonna continue watching these birds and uh, come up with a game plan for in the morning. But as of right now, that's what we got. Let's see if we can put eyes on that other gobbler. No, I've still only just got the one. That's what I'm saying, you go back to in front of the barn. Yeah. Not, not get out there in the cemetery. All right, we're moving locations. <laughs> on the move. <laughs> we're putting a snake on. Do I? Yeah. There's another one. That one's a top. I see three toms. All three of them are in the field. Turkeys are going nuts. We set up here, like I said, where we saw these birds going in and out of yesterday. They stayed down here for several hours, down in this bottom. I was able to run down the side of this little wood line out in the middle of the field last night and actually watch these birds fly up to the roost. Did the same thing they did last year. They flew up behind this big oak tree in the field bad thing was they were so close to the field we couldn't make a play on them over there so we decided to come over here last night get us a uh, couple makeshift blinds built up and set up in here first thing this morning we got in here perfect and right at first light these birds went nuts we're thinking they're probably going to work their way this way which is what they've done the last five days on camera kind of work their way up into this neck back and forth so we're just gonna sit here and enjoy the show Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. That's a good offer, too. <laughs> right, run, 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 run. <laughs> Short, stumpy legs. somewhere in this field and he can see the gobblers the hens kind of fed off to our left and went up in the woods the gobblers 
five horses for whatever reason, they were all way across the field. But Kenny said they've turned and they've all started heading this way, so we might be in the game. Oh yeah, he's gonna do it. He gonna sign his death certificate. <laughs> comes on in, see how close you can get him. So dead. He is so dead. Shit. The tree's in the way.
trees in the way. Kill him. Kill him. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Turkey nuggets and nice snow. Turkey down, boy. Over, hey. Over in Dan, Kentucky. It's a large, son. A large. <laughs> Check that thing out. Let's take him up here in the woods so we don't spook any turkey nuggets. We can call Kenny and find out where the mother ones are at. Yeah. Kenny was up there scouting for us. <laughs> so they was on the other side of the field. So. Oh. I told Caleb to kill him and they wasn't even gonna bother the mother two birds because they're so far on the other side of the field. I'm about to call I guess I'm telling. Yeah, I'm about to call him right now and find out where the mother two are at. Y'all could have been like, can you take a video? You're about to hear something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been texting Kenny back and forth all morning. He's been giving us the update on where the birds are at. Kenny's sitting at the house watching all Oh, I'm so glad. Well, first bird was the new M2. Uh man, this is a heck of a morning. What, four birds? Well, definitely three. Kenny said he saw the fours. Yeah, we saw for sure three uh, mature birds. And then the whole flock of hens. Uh, I mean, hopefully you can see it in the video. First thing this morning, they flew down in the field and um, kind of flew out here in the middle. One flew all the way across. I'm assuming they linked up at some point. But anyway, 
they worked their way out in the field they worked their way off eventually you know they said they gobbled forever as they worked their way off Kenny was sitting up at the upper end of the field kind of giving us a play-by-play -play where they were going and then what time is it it is 10 42 10 42 so what do you think like 9 30 when he come back when he started coming back this way probably yeah so probably about 9 30 Kenny said that one of them had branched off and started heading back this way and the other two kind of went farther away which it ended up working out perfect because if two birds weren't going to come in dang hens almost all morning yeah yeah we had hint we had birds everywhere but it worked out great for me to go ahead and shoot one or one of us to go ahead and shoot one because the other gobblers were hopefully far enough away where it, i'm sure they were where it's not going to mess them up so if we weren't going to be able to double we were hoping that a solo bird would come through the way this bird did it, you can't give up opportunities like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, this bird was all the way across the field, literally under the tree that they roosted behind. And uh, well, he really hadn't called a whole lot this morning, just off and on seeing if we could get one fired up. Well, this bird, I don't know, he didn't really respond a whole lot to my mouth call. And then I took my um, Woodhaven glass or crystal and uh, I hit him a couple times and all of a sudden that truck of sucker just double and triple gobbled. And left and, them hens he chased to the other side. <laughs> yeah, those hens went all the way up. They went up in the woods and that joker just turned and came right to us. On the line. Mm -hmm. line. I think you were like, yeah, he just signed oh, his death certificate. He just signed his death certificate. <laughs> the whole time when he, when he <laughs> dropped struck, started coming to us, like he signed his death certificate. Oh, yeah. And but he, he was standing what? I don't 30 know. Yards? 30 yards maybe. He probably could have gotten, would have came closer. Problem I was having is the way I was propped up. I had my gun up. I was hoping he was going to keep coming left. I know. I had my gun up and I was using my glass car or my crystal. And uh, I had to set it on my leg because I was trying to use both hands and I was pushing my shotgun off. So I ended up setting it on my leg and I just wasn't getting a good, good friction on it to make it call. Um, but he was already so close. Plus the camera kept overheating. I was fighting that, but I think we got some pretty sweet footage. Hunter was over there filming on his camera too. So should have all the angles. What an awesome hunt. Opening day, turkey. Big old gobbler down here in Kentucky. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to uh, get Hunter and Kenny on two birds. So. Where you at? Depending on how we do this episode, yeah, I didn't know this I, may be an episode and then the next hunt may be an episode. But if it is, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a blast. Uh, Remember to live your life right to the now, fullest and use your passions up. to bless others. Yeah, we'll catch you, you either in the blind this evening or on the next episode. Appreciate it.